LG is officially leaving the smartphone industry and I think I have some reasons for it. Let's dive in. How's it going guys, Max here. So yes, LG is leaving the smartphone industry for good. And this is not a rumor since they posted this on their official website. And it confirms the rumors we've been hearing for the past few weeks. And though there are many reasons why LG is leaving the smartphone market, but here are my top 3 reasons why they are going. Number 1. Bad marketing um, That's why the fact that LG is a reputable company when it comes to the production of technologies, gadgets and other stuff. They don't know how to market their devices. Think about it, when was the last time you saw an ad by LG, maybe on YouTube or something like that? I would say either a very long time ago or never. Me personally, I have never seen one. And uh, why is it so? Well, I think that because LG Electronics is already a very popular company, especially because of their TVs, they felt that there was no need to market their phones and uh, people would just buy it because of the name LG, which is a big lie. The smartphone market is an extremely competitive market that you have to keep marketing on a daily basis to even get a chance at success. Even the whole Apple tried this in the beginning and when their sales started declining massively, they started marketing. Now we see Apple posting videos, ads and other stuff. So if Apple can do this despite being the only company that offers iOS, why won't LG? So you see this. and. This also resulted to the 1% market share and $5 billion loss they have made over the past 5 years. That is LG smartphone division. Number 2. Lack of direction Despite the lack of marketing from LG smartphone division, they also don't have a particular direction or feel that they impose on the consumers. For example, when you think of Apple, you think of this premium smartphone with great photo and video capabilities. Um, when you think of Samsung, you think of this phone with an amazingly great display, great specs, great build quality and one of the best camera systems on earth. But when you think of LG, nothing. Like they constantly change from build quality to wing phones to different aspects of smartphone um, components instead of just making a statement and standing on one particular area in a phone meaning that consumers won't actually know what to expect from their next flagship which is why they easily lose customers oh yeah aaron from mr who's boss made a perfect video on why people don't really buy lg phones link in the description last but not the least pricing lg has the worst price retention in the history of smartphones why well, like I said, bad marketing. LG launched the LG G7 at 800 euros. It was good for the price and everything, but two days later, LG cut it to 600 euros. What? Nobody would want to buy an 800 euro phone when they can just wait two days later so that they can buy that same phone with 200 euros off. And though this may be as a result of lack of expected pre orders, but those who actually bought it for 800 euros will feel cheated on. And um, when it goes down to 600 euros, people will actually be waiting for it to go down more. And trust me, people hate being cheated on. So I think this is like the worst case scenario of managing your smartphone customers. Well, LG, it was great having you, but we can't deny the fact that you caused your downfall. And though LG is still going to be creating parts like chips and displays for smartphones, they won't ever release one again. Well, tell me what you think about everything I've said in this video down in the comment section. Subscribe for frequent tech videos and I'll see you next time. Peace.